So when you're the least popular kid in fifth grade, you learn to trust no one, including your best friend. I was this perfect storm of awkward and physically uncoordinated and prissy. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't use slang. Grody to the max. Grody is not even a word. What does that even mean? Uh, Fashion-wise, I asked for that perm. Like, I begged my mom to turn me into a brunette little orphan Annie. <sighs> physically uncoordinated. And I'm not making this up, the kid with leg braces got picked before me to play kickball. <laughs> but probably worst of all, I didn't understand sarcasm or pick up when someone was being mean. It took an entire year for me to figure out what people meant when they said, Amanda, your face is as pretty as your hair. I had one on-again, off-again kind of best friend, the kind of friend that'll call you occasionally when a more popular girl decides she wants to hang out. She'll call and say, I, I can't be your friend anymore. Holly wants me to hang out. And then two days later, she'll call you back because Holly's tired of her. So I didn't trust her. I didn't have anyone I could trust. I had transferred to the school in fourth grade, uh, finally an advanced program. Smart kids are meaner. <laughs> um, and so I had this on again, off again friend, and that was it, the whole of fourth grade. And in the fifth grade, uh, it looked like it was shaping up to be the same. It's an incredibly isolating, lonely thing. Outside of my family, I really didn't have any friends I could trust until one day, uh, Dawn and Shannon had a falling out and Dawn involved me. No one knows what the falling out was about. Maybe somebody scratched the 45 of, you know, we are the world, or maybe somebody got a new Cabbage Patch Kid and the other one wouldn't let them play with it. It doesn't matter why. But one day after school, where I'd been hearing all day that, you know, Don and, Don and Shannon aren't friends anymore. They, they had a falling out. So after school, my little brother and I were playing in the field behind the house. Um, absentee owner, the house was for sale, so the grass had grown really high. It was fantastic. You could, like, make these little paths, and you could hunker down in the grass and hide, and nobody could see you. Full view of the house. You know, Mom could look out. So my brother and I were playing a kind of a hybrid version of a Little House of the Prairie in Star Wars. So... <laughs> I'm Laura Ingalls, and I'm, I'm lost on the prairie, so I'm hunkered down the grass, and I hear rustling sounds. And I, I don't know if my brother's going to, you know, pop out pretending to be a Jawa or, you know, Chewbacca or something, but, I, I mean, I'm prepared. And in walks Dawn, and I'm horrified. How is this going to affect me tomorrow? Hey, is she going to use this against me? Because I'm, I'm playing in the grass. I'm, I'm laying down on the ground, and I'm just struck dumb and terrified. And she said, what are you doing? I made some non-committal, terrified grunt. And, and to this day, I don't know where the intuition came from. She said, are you playing Little House on the Prairie? I want to play too. Now, I wasn't even wearing a bonnet, okay? I don't know where it came from. But she, that was the only thing she could have said that was perfect that, where I immediately trusted her. And uh, so my brother came out of the weeds with a broomstick pretending to be Luke Skywalker. Instead... He found Mary and Laura Ingalls making a clover chain. So the next day at school, I'm prepared for her to completely ignore me. I don't know what's going to happen. And I walk in, and the first girl who sees me says, Amanda, are you Dawn's best friend now? Because she says you're her best friend. This is a loaded question. <laughs> what if I say yes, and they're just going to make fun of me? Why would Dawn want to be friends with me? But what if I say no, and she does want to be my friend, and I hurt her feelings? So I say something on Camino like, oh, you'll just have to ask her about that. I, I don't know. And so after school that day, Dawn came over. And I still didn't fully trust it. Why should I? I was waiting for the other shoe to drop. And she came over another day. And then maybe another day uh, she asked me to stay for the weekend or something. And eventually I figured out how to be less awkward. Less awkward. I was no longer the valedictorian of awkward, okay? But, I mean, I was still, <laughs> you know, I had a lot going on. Um, but, but Dawn was able to help me trust people again and to accept this friendship that had no strings tied to it. Uh, she wasn't getting any kind of social status out of being my friend. She was just being kind. And uh, that simple act changed me changed how I related to other people and how I learned how to open up and trust people. And it uh, changed me my whole life. Thank you.